today to share with you my absolute favorite airbrushing system. Um, this was sent to me by Luminous, and I'm not paid to say this, but I've tried so many airbrushing systems before, but this one is just amazing, and I love it. So, this is a box that it came in. Sorry, this is just the bottom of it. The top is downstairs somewhere. I was airbrushing my mom and my entire family earlier today. So, this I just packed this up so I could bring it up here and film for you guys. So, obviously, you're going to get the cord that you attach into the wall and into your airbrush. This is the actual airbrush. Super cute. All of their products are so cute. It's got like the little pink down here, you know, silver top one. And of course, the actual airbrush gun is right here. And then you get this empty little um, jar so you can fill it with water to clean out your airbrush um, gun, which is really, really important. And then I got this airbrush cosmetic starter kit. So in here, I have four foundation colors. And I have a blush, a bronzer, a moisturizer, and an airbrush glow. So let's see. This is the tan kit. That's the color that I want, or the kit that I wanted. Okay, so this is the bronzer. It's definitely a very pretty bronze color. And then I have the, air, the actual foundation color. I have shades 3, 4, 5, and 6 right here in the tan range. Then here is the airbrush glow if you want to put this on before you put on your foundation and airbrush just because that way your skin will look more dewy and natural. You've got an airbrush moisturizer right here and you have got a blush right here. This is called Soft Rose 2N. So this is the kit that came for me and then of course you like you have the instruction manual, DVD, um, to watch how to do this and all of that stuff. So the thing that I am really intrigued by that I wasn't so sure about before is the fact that it only has an on-off button. There's no like power dial up here for you to control how um, how much coverage you're going to get because I know with my Dynair one and stuff like you, you move the little valve left or right depending on how much makeup you want to come out of your gun and that's going to determine how thick of a coverage you want. So over here it's just on and off. But what you get to do here is that of course you can control how much makeup is coming out through the little valve right here or I mean through the trigger and I really like this trigger it's not as like easy to pull so you're obviously going to be careful about how much you're you're releasing through here it's not like where you just slide it back and you just go it's definitely a little bit harder of a, um, of a trigger to pull which is nice and then you dispense your makeup up here into this little cup and what I have noticed with this is that one this actual airbrush system is the lightest thing ever like, when I talk about light, it's like, <laughs> I can't feel anything. I don't even feel like I'm holding anything. Um, I've never, ever, ever used an airbrush compressor that has been this lightweight. And obviously, if you're a makeup artist, you know, you want things to be practical. You want all your makeup to be lightweight, easily portable. And this is just that. It's so tiny, super lightweight, and I love that. Very compact. And then the really, really nice thing up here is that it's got this little hole where you could place your airbrush when you're actually waiting. Um, so like, you know, once you use it, it's, it's got makeup around here. You don't want it to spill on somebody's table. You don't want to make any sort of mess. You can just put this in here, set this on a table, and, you know, continue with the rest of your ritual. And I really like that. I have never used an airbrush that has actually come with that, an airbrush compressor. And it's something that I've been wishing for because I know that I have ruined my gorgeous wood furniture because of that. Like, when you're a makeup artist, you're on the go, you're running around, you're doing things really, really fast, and you don't necessarily have time to clean up as you go because you need to get that person out of your chair and, you know, onto their photo shoot, whatever it is, it is that they're doing. So you're trying to, like, hurry and do everything. So for me, I would do their makeup. You know, if there's anything left in here, I can't clean that out immediately. immediately. So I would just leave it on the table and, you know, continue with everything. And it has ruined so much stuff before. It's ruined my clothes. I actually really like the fact that it's just one speed because it's easy to use. You don't have to use your brain much. It's just on off. Very, very, very functional. Super easy to use. And the shades here are awesome. The um, I opted for the Ultra Foundation, which is like not matte. It's not satin. It's like in between. So you don't ever look like you're overly powdered, but you don't look super dewy either. It's like a nice middle ground. And I like that just because that way if my client is oily, I can put on a little bit of powder and get going. Or if my client is very dry, it still looks very natural. Um, I just did this on my mom. I'm going to show you guys the demo at the end of my um, review. And you'll see what I did. But, you know, I really like the way this dries. It doesn't look like you need anything on top of it. Unless someone's skin is super oily and you know that oil is going to break through. Even if it doesn't look that way when you first apply it. Like, 
then you can powder it but this is one of the only foundations that I've used and felt like I don't need anything on top of it which is really really nice they have four shade ranges you can go with light medium tan or dark and that's you know that's pretty normal and um, very 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 easy to blend foundation you'll see in my demo how I did that it's very easy you can't really make a mistake and as always airbrush foundation to me is easier to blend than normal foundations because even if you make a mistake you can put on another layer and keep going it's not like conventional makeup where if you make a mistake you have to take it off and start all over with this you can let it dry continue on the other thing too is with this foundation it dries super fast so it's very easy. Other foundations and airbrush foundations I've used before take a while to dry. You can actually see it in the skin. You can see that it's not dry yet and then you have to like wait for a few minutes before you set it with something because you don't want to set something that's completely wet, you know, without letting it dry by itself. So I like that a lot. The one thing that I did notice is that I don't know if it's because since this is just one speed, it's sending out a lot more makeup than usual, but I've I used a little bit more of this foundation than I usually have with airbrush systems before. I've used lots of airbrush systems before and I've had to use less makeup with those. I don't know if it's something to do with the speed of this, but at the same time, it's it's affordable. So even if I run out, I can easily get more of these colors. The one thing I noticed when I was putting this on, this was, it definitely works with the name. It's called Flawless for a reason because it was applying the makeup flawlessly. The speed of this airbrush, um, putting the air out here, and the pressure that I used down here with the trigger seemed to just work beautifully. Like the amount of air that came out of here was perfect. It was dispersing the makeup really evenly, really, really gorgeously. And you'll see that in the demo. But I'm not just saying this. I really enjoyed using this. It, fe it felt like a very luxurious sort of product. A product that you know is, when you're putting it on, like you can tell that it's something special. I don't know if you guys have ever used any sort of makeup before where you put it on and you feel like it's like an enjoyable ritual almost. And you know that you're using like a really good product and it's working really well for you. So I have, you know, immensely enjoyed this system. I think it's definitely going to become one of my favorite foundation routines. And of course, because I'm a makeup artist on my brides, I know they are going to love the finish that this gives them. So that concludes my review. If you guys want to watch the demo, then keep watching. My model is my mom and she was kind of shy, so she didn't want to speak while I was doing her makeup. But you guys will see how gorgeous she looked at the end of it. So I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye! Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the foundation. There are eight shades given to me in a case like this. I got the tan kit. You can get medium, light, or dark. And that includes four foundation shades. And then it gives me four other things. And the other things, the first thing is the airbrush moisturizer, which you don't have to use. You can use your normal conventional moisturizer. Um, we've got something called airbrush glow, which is like a brightening sort of thing. And then you have a bronzer, which is very golden-ish colored. And then you also have an airbrush blush. So for my purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and put on foundation right now. The first thing to always do if you'd like is make sure you put water through the actual brush so that that way when you're testing the makeup, you're not doing anything wrong first. You can make sure that this is working, it's clean, and that's the, that's the way you're supposed to clean it also. The nice thing about this airbrush machine is that it's just one speed. So you're controlling the speed and the intensity of the makeup by pulling this valve back. The farther back you pull it, the more makeup is going to come out, the higher, um, the higher coverage you're going to get. So I'm going to go ahead and mix shades 3 and 5, which are these shades right here. 5 is very yellow toned. And three is more pink. My mom's more pink, but usually I feel like yellows tend to look better. So I'm going to mix these two. With any airbrush makeup, just make sure that you're doing a good job with mixing it. You're back bubbling it. And you also don't need as much makeup as you normally would with conventional makeup. So I put three drops of shade five. And now I'm putting three drops of shade three. And then what you're going to do is that you're going to take a napkin, you're going to turn the machine on. No makeup's going to come out until you actually pull this valve back. You're going to hold it against a paper towel and you're going to back bubble it. I don't know if you guys can see that to see what's actually happening in here. It's mixing the two colors together. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that on the face. If you want to make sure it doesn't get anywhere, just go ahead and tie your hair back because It'll tend to turn the corners of your hair a different color, so you don't want that. So I'm going to stand about six inches away, and we're going to start from right here. 
Let me zoom you guys in a little bit more. Do you feel any air, Mom? Mm -hmm. I always tend to go in little round motions, but you don't have to. You can just go downwards like this or you can go on little round motions like this. It depends on what areas you think need the most coverage. For my mom, she likes more natural makeup, so I'm not really gonna spend too much time on any one area. So that did one side of her face. Do you guys see the difference? Okay, so I'm gonna mix up some more. Again, I'm gonna put I'm going to put a little bit more in this time because I saw that this used a little bit more than I was expecting. So I'm going to mix in four drops this time. Again, don't forget to back bubble it. Okay, also make sure that the client's face is completely still. If they're moving, it's not going to blow the, the right way into their face, it's not going to stick to their pores, and it's going to look very, very noticeable. So now I'm going to start off with the forehead. I'm going to the center of the face and forehead first because my mom has a darker like top of the forehead and chin area so we're gonna solve that by putting on a little bit darker of a color there. I'm gonna step to the other side. Definitely would do that for your bride. I'm gonna go right into the middle of the chin. Make sure to get this upper lip area under the eyes. You don't have to use it as concealer, but you can. Okay, so now for the outside corners of the face, I'm gonna use a darker color. And for that, it's gonna be, let's see, shade six, it's the darkest one that I have. And I'm gonna add just a little bit, nothing too major. I'm just putting three drops. I don't have to back bubble it because it's the only color that I have in here. I'm going to, of course, turn on the system and I'm going to have my mom face me a little bit more just so I can get the correct angles. So, of course, the darker shade you want to contour a little bit. So that's what I've done. I'm just going into the hollows of the cheeks and then I did the top of the forehead and then the bottom of the chin and side of the jaw. Okay, so this is what it would look like if you're gonna stop just at the foundation. The skin has been evened out completely. Also, this is the Ultra Foundation, which means that it is not matte and it's not satin either, so it's got the perfect finish. You don't even need to powder this, especially if you have a client who doesn't have um, really, really oily skin. You don't need to powder this, as you can see right now. Like, there's no shine showing through at all, so for the more natural look, I would suggest leaving it like this, but you can powder this if you've got really oily skin. I know that you can use this as concealer under the eyes also and on problem areas, but I'm not going to use this as concealer for my mom just because she has really dry under eye areas and I would rather use something a little bit more moisturizing. But as far as the foundation goes, this is how natural and perfect it looks. I'm going to zoom you guys in even some more to see everything. Then you're going to turn from the left to the right. See? Okay, do you turn the other side? See how perfect that looks? Super, super natural. And then if you go back to our normal setting, then this is what you would look like from far. So I'm not going to do anything more, but this is to show you guys what a normal airbrush look would look like and how good the system works.